Okay, I decided to use uh, Maxima. It's popular, it's open source, and a reasonable choice. So let's have a look. Um, I'm going to make our function s. This is question 50 from yesterday. S squared. Then we'll calculate a 6.5. We've run all of that. Um, oh, forgot my semicolon here. Run all that. Okay, so we have the answer here. What do I need to have the. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't need the comment. So uh, we'll just put the comment in the um, a square of length at 6.5 units will have an area of 42.25 units squared. Yeah, okay, I think I need the. Um, Can I do a double dash? Does that work too? Yeah, okay. And then lastly, we want to solve when the area is equal to 56. Uh, can we convert this to float? Yeah, then uh, numeric output. Oh, no, 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 um, not that. Set the precision. Um, set display precision to two significant figures. You know, we probably have to set this before it calculates it, huh? Actually, I thought I had said this before I solve it. Then let's convert this to numeric. Strange. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, so we set the. I'm just wondering, I'm just curious if it still works if I set the precision after I saw. No, I have to set it before I solve it and then convert it to numeric afterwards. So uh, 7.4 looks like to be the 7. Point. Oh, no. Hmm. It should have rounded that actually. So. Um, oh. Hmm. This isn't quite right. I want to round the answer to, I don't want to just truncate it. Mm, okay, one moment. Right, I found how to do it. So what you have to do is set the precision, in this case, to two first, and then convert this to B float. And then it should work. Now, I wonder if I can just do float. Does it have to be B float? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's 
one of this now. Sticks a little B0 at the end. Let's not fret about that. So we get an answer of 7.5. Okay. Yeah. 7.5 then. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, let's continue now. Okay. Write a function BS for the volume of a cube. That's just going to be S cubed. Okay, find and interpret B eleven point eight. Okay, so that is saying that a cube of length eleven point eight units will have a volume of one six four three point oh three two units cubed. Okay, yeah, that, that seems fine to me. Okay. Um, next one now. Clear this off. I guess I could put the question numbers at the top, couldn't I? So this is 52. Okay, a rental car company rents cars for a flat fee of 20 and an hourly charge of 1025 therefore the total cost c okay yeah so okay this is okay um if you ever just put the last answer it's a 51 oh did i say two it's interesting to the answer at the back 51 doesn't give um the full decimal, I think it's kind of funny. Um, that's, it doesn't say anything. I don't know anything about rounding in the last one. That's a bit strange. Okay, uh, a rental car company rents a car for a flat fee of 20 and an hourly charge of 10.25. The cost, okay, so the cost for the time is the flat fee of 20 plus 10.25 multiplied by the time. Yeah, okay, so that looks okay. Find the total cost to rent a car for two days and seven hours. Ah, so two, so this is per hour, isn't it? Yeah, so two days, so that's two times 24 plus seven hours, okay. And then we want to solve CT equal to 432.73. Okay, let's see. Oops. Oops, forgot my semicolon. Okay. Mm. Maybe we should uh, round this off. So I'll just do a float. 40. But four hundred and thirty two point seventy three. But that's a bit weird because 40 won't work. Because if you type in C40 and C41, you get 430 which is not quite enough. And then 440, which is too much. So the amount that they give is not possible. Okay. 
can't actually kind of weird. Whoops, I accidentally typed a bracket somewhere. Hmm. Am I doing something wrong or have they done something wrong here? A rental car company rents a rental car company rents cars for a flat fee of twenty dollars, yeah, and an hourly charge of ten twenty five. But no company charges part hours, they only have to charge full hours. Therefore the total cost C to rent a car is a function of the hours T the car rented plus the flat fee. Write the formula for the function that models this situation. Find the total cost to rent the car for two days and seven hours. Determine how long the car was rented. The bill was four thirty two seventy three. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I don't. Huh. Man. I think this one is wrong. I've just been looking and looking at this, and you know, I just think it's a bit weird. I think this car company must charge by the quarter hour. Because the answer that we got, so I'm just going to say, um, you uh, the car was rented for uh forty hours and fifteen minutes. Ugh. But let me just actually check if that works cost for 40.25 does that even work mm, no that that's not even right so the car's charging per minute it's ridiculous like 26 minutes No, the car isn't charging per minute, charging per second. I can't get the answer to match. But no answer will, or no reasonable time will give uh, a cost of um, 432.73. Maybe I'm just doing something really dumb here. Crazy. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Um, 50. Tree. Right, the vehicle has a 20 gallon tank and gets 15 miles per gallon. The number of miles and that can be driven depends on the amount of gas X in the tank, but obviously write a formula that models this situation. Okay, so the, the number of um the number of miles and that can be driven depends on the amount of gas in the tank X. 
So it's it's 15 miles to the gallon. So each gallon should give you 15 miles. So it's just going to be 15x. Although you can't get more than uh, you can't get more than 20 gallons into the car. So you can't get more than 15 times 20. It's like 300 miles. But I don't think we have to worry too much about that. Just yet, anyways. Okay, so that takes care of that. Then how many miles can you get on a full tank? 20 gallons. Then how many miles can you get on three quarters of a tank? Okay. Yeah, 300 miles on a full tank and 230, 225 miles on a three quarter tank. Um, well, domain, well, the X can just be um, some number from 0 to 20 inclusive, I guess. And then the range is going to be from 0 to 300. And um, how many times the driver has to stop for gas if she's driven a total of 578 miles? Well, that's once. Mm. But that assumes they start off with a full tank. I hate when questions make you assume things like this. Assuming she started her journey with a full tank she will need to stop only once at the 300 mile mark well good thing is this is odd so the answer is at the back but let's see if we're right 15x and 20 equals 300 domain is 0 to 20 yep range is 0 to 300 yep the driver had to stop at least once given that it takes approximately okay yep so yeah we assume it starts off with a full um a full tank okay let's have a look now at the next one 50 or no, that was 53, 54. The volume of a sphere depends on its radius. Okay, the mean radius, the average distance from the physical center to the surface, basically. Okay, so the volume of the earth, or the sphere, I should say, is 4 over 3. Oh, how do you do pi? I think percent p or percent pi? Um, times r cubed. 